celebrate at the bottom of those dolphins. It's our hope that you leave here today knowing so much more about these amazing animals and have a renewed respect for the ocean and waterways we share with them. I can't think of a better way to get things started than by introducing you to some of our dolphins. On your right, this is Marvel and Tyler. Marvel and Tyler are bottlenose dolphins, which are just one of several different species of whales and dolphins, also known as cetaceans, that are found along the Florida coast. Now, all the dolphins that you'll meet here today were born within our SeaWorld Park, and they range in age from 12 to Starbuck, who's coming up here in the center. He's 43 years old. If you're interested in learning more about bottlenose dolphins, be sure to visit the Dolphin Cove before leaving the Key West area today. But now that you've met some of our pods, let's dive in and talk about what makes dolphins so cool. Nature has given them some amazing adaptations that allow them to navigate, forage, and play. Like the blowhole here on top of the head. That's where they breathe from, of course, but also where they make all their sounds from. Let's listen in. So dolphins will use that wall on top of their head to communicate with other members of their pod. And these animals have to swim really fast in order to hunt down their prey, which consists of fish, squid, and the occasional crustacean. To catch that food, as we'll see right here on the far side. Engaging our dolphins physically and mentally helps us give them the best provided exceptional animal welfare. Through that care, we develop bonds and relationships with them. Yeah, great, excellent. Yes, you're feeding the dolphin. Wonderful. 
You ever fed a dolphin before? No. What kind of fish are these, Harper? It's a dead fish. <laughs> Right, it is a dead fish, but we call it a capelin, and he eats about 20 pounds of capelin a day. Yeah! Oh boy, Harper, look at your hands now. You got the fish guts all over him.